From VOA Learning English, this is the Health Report. Doctors have been warning for years that secondhand smoke leads to many types of illness. However, many children around the world live in areas where adults regularly smoke. Secondhand smoke is when a person breathes air in which others are smoking. Should people be allowed to smoke in their homes, even if children live there? Or is smoking around children a kind of child abuse? This is the latest issue in the great debate over smoking. The journal Annals of Family Medicine recently published an article calling for doctors to start treating children's contact with secondhand smoke as abuse. In that case, contact with secondhand smoke would be considered much like physical abuse or neglect. Dr. Adam Goldstein of the University of North Carolina School of Medicine wrote the article. He says, secondhand smoke causes many diseases in children, including asthma and pneumonia. He adds that no amount of secondhand smoke is safe. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention agree that secondhand smoke can cause serious health problems in children. They say that compared to children who grow up in homes without smokers, children with parents who smoke have smaller lungs and more illnesses. However, several organizations for smokers' rights in the U.S. say people have the right to smoke in their own homes. These same organizations say that many studies done on the effects of smoking, including those on secondhand smoke, do not use good science. For VOA, Learning English. I'm Jonathan Evans.